Here we have Gord's first swim. So here you can see the arms are reaching and your hands are scooping up towards the surface. This is causing the hips to drop behind you. So we want to try and get that eye position looking down, the hand position coming down in order to get those legs going up. Here we've got the head position coming down, hand position is coming down, hips are moving up near the surface. Everything here is looking much more horizontal. You just need to make sure that those legs stay in together when they aren't kicking. You want more flexible ankles. You'll notice that the ankles are quite flexed. Um, if the toes are pointing behind you, there's less drag. So here we have a much nicer hand position. So we're getting it down deeper. Try and keep the eyes looking to the bottom of the pool as the arms outstretch and reach down. This is all going to keep those hips up near the surface, working way less with kicking. Over the water, we can see a hard time getting over the water with your right arm. And here we've got nice wide tracks. So what we're looking for here is to see if everything fits within the chest depth. We sort of see the hips on the low side here and the legs kind of on the lower side. So in this final video, every once in a while we're just seeing the hips and the toes. So for the most part, everything here is way more horizontal. Great work, Gord.